Good morning and welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. Today I'm making coffee but I don't have my scales and this was open. Great. So that's why it tastes so bad. Since I do this every day, you would think I would know how much is 25 grams. But I don't. This is probably honestly like 40 grams. Not that but Also, I did not really like this coffee. Which is sad because it's from Brazil. It's a single origin from Brazil and I'm really upset. But well, not upset, but I think I didn't like it because I had been used to drinking blends. So single origin probably was just like different than what I was used to. What I was used to. The thing is with this coffee bean is it's very dry looking like it has that matte finish instead of the oily finish that some coffee and most espresso beans have so I think that's what I don't like about it is that it has the matte finish taste wise um, and I'm used to having I like coffee with a little bit of oil on it if you are a coffee person look away this is not the real me this is just you know desperate times call for desperate measures me i would never use this if i had the choice now that i have my boiling water and my recently cleaned tea kettle i mean french press and i would just like to say most of the times I w actually I'm gonna preheat it. Oh, yep, I'm gonna preheat it because there's still a little bit of soap in it. So good thing I preheated it. So I'm just gonna preheat this bad boy. Preheating it. Making sure the vessel of that coffee. Oh, there's a lot of soap in here. This isn't clean. I'm going to pour the hot water in here. Heat up the thing. I'm gonna eventually put my coffee in. And that's actually how you keep your coffee hot, is keeping the vessel you put your coffee into hot. Um, and this is literally so sad because usually I would be doing this, I would be doing this all weighted on a scale, but I actually melted my scale and I left it on top of my toaster oven and then someone used it and it melted the entire thing so what I'm doing right now is just look at that delicious delicious beautiful flowering going flowering is what they call it I'm just going to agitate it, agitate, 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 agitate. Make sure everything is getting some water on it. Also, this is like anti ASMR. It's not bad. It's just no acidity. Some slight bitterness. It's just falling flat for me, honestly. No good no no aftertaste, which I'm getting no it's very straight, oh, very straightforward. It goes just straight through your palate, nothing. Which I guess for some people who don't really maybe like an overpowering coffee, this would be perfect. And yes, that's the proper way to taste coffee. You have to slurp it like wine. It's just, it's not it. It's good, but it wasn't what I was entirely anticipating. And let's do a taste test of this. I mean. Whew. 
literally have one gram of that and I'm over the moon because this is literally the best thing you could ever possibly also why isn't they they're putting it on pancakes on on the cover that is not right mm -mm. you're supposed to just eat it by the spoonful this and this would actually be like the perfect brazilian coffee because this is coffee from brazil and this is just you know a staple